Well, hey there guys. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Welcome to the Glam Ranch. My name is Christina Brooke. If you guys are new here, what I like to do is talk about makeup. So if you guys like makeup, then you're probably going to like the channel. So you should probably just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the notification bell, you guys can be early birds on the Glam Ranch and see all the videos right when I'm posting them. What we're going to be talking about today is the new Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. So I've been wearing this foundation for the past few days for you guys, and I also did a nice little weird test for you guys so you guys can see everything about this foundation and let's get right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I applied the foundation today and then right after that I'm gonna show you guys the wear test that I did yesterday so you guys can kind of get an idea of how this foundation applies and also how it performs so let's go ahead and get into those two videos and then after I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys my thoughts on the foundation. So I just went ahead and I put on my Pixi um, Hydrating Milky Mist. I'm loving this stuff so much. And then after I used my Pixi Flawless Poreless Primer and that's what I put on my face. So now let's jump into the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. On one side of my face, I'm gonna apply it with a brush and on the other side, I'm gonna apply it with a sponge. So let me just zoom you guys in just a little bit closer. So let's go ahead and let's apply this foundation. The color that I got it in is nude l3 and i honestly think that the color matches me pretty good i mean it's not a perfect spot on match i do think that the color is good because i always lighten up my face a little bit with my concealer so i try to go a little bit darker on my foundation it's just a trick that i do just because i feel like in photos it looks a lot better if your foundation is not super super light let's just go ahead and dab this on my skin on this side i'm gonna put it on with a sponge let me just smooth that in. I feel like this foundation has a very good coverage. Can you guys tell how good that coverage is? I mean, let me just take this off a little bit. But you can see the coverage is really nice. I feel like it does dry down, not super fast, but I would say, you know, don't take too much time working this in. Like try to work it in as fast as possible because it does dry. How pretty that finishes. I'm like really impressed with the finish on this foundation. So there we have it with a sponge. I think it does a good job with the sponge. I do think that it smooths out really nice, but I do think you waste a little bit more product. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two more pumps on here, and then I'm gonna put it on with a brush, and let's see how it works with the brush. So I just kinda like always squirt it on my hand, and then I dab it on, just because if you put too much, you don't have to put everything on your face, and you can go back in later. So let's just stipple it and move it around, and let's see what we've got going on here. <laughs> okay, so I can already see the coverage is a lot higher with the brush, but I do feel like it gets a little streaky. So I almost like the coverage more on the side of the brush, but I like the application of the sponge because I feel like the sponge didn't leave any streak marks and I think the brush left a few. I'm gonna go over it with the sponge just to smooth everything out so it's seamless and not streaky. So I think I would probably recommend if you go in with a brush with this foundation, I would recommend that you go over it with the sponge after to kind of just like make everything smooth out. Look how pretty this finish is, guys. Oh my God. I'm in love with the finish of this foundation. I think it's so pretty. So this is the second time I put this foundation on. When I did my wear test, I went ahead and I applied it with a sponge because I figured that might be the better application. So this is the first time I've tried it with a brush and I do like the sponge better. So yeah, so this is the foundation completely put on my face. What do you guys think? I, I really love the finish of it. I, so I feel like this foundation is a little bit dewy. It has more like a satin finish because I don't feel like it's very dewy and I don't feel like it's very matte. So it's kind of like in the middle. Like I see a little bit of dewiness, but I also see a little bit of matteness. So I do love the finish. And look how pretty, guys. This is like... You can definitely build this up to probably the beginning of full coverage. It's definitely a medium coverage for sure. And then you can like build it up. It always depends on what you're trying to accomplish with a foundation. For me personally, I don't have that many blemishes on my face. So building up to full coverage is a little bit easier for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert my wear test now so you guys can see this foundation and how it worked throughout the entire day. So let's go ahead and watch that right now. And then after I'll get into a little quick little review for you guys of what I think about the foundation. Okay, hey there. So I just finished applying the foundation from Flower Beauty and it looks really pretty. It's really lightweight. It really feels nice on my skin. It doesn't feel oily. And this is what it looks like. Oh, so what time is it? 
It is 10.06 a.m. So I'm going to be wearing this foundation for the whole day and I'll give you guys check-ins, let you guys know how it's wearing, see if there's any issues with it. But yeah, this is what it looks like so far. And I really like it and the color kind of worked out pretty good too. So, so far so good. And I'll check in a little bit later and let you guys know what I'm thinking. Okay, so here's a check-in. This is what the foundation looks like right now. And I am in the car on our way out. And I just wanted to show you guys, because honestly, guys, I love the finish on this foundation. I'm like, I think it looks so pretty. Right now, it's like awesome. So here we go. That's what it looks like. It's not that much later than the last time. It's like 10, 1030. See you in a few hours. How does my face look? Perfect. Does it look better than usual? Or does it look the same? Better. Better? <laughs> Are you lying? There we go. It looks better than usual. All right, guys, I have an update for you. It is 2.08 right now. Get some good light so you can see it better. But can you tell that it still looks pretty nice? The only thing I will say is around my nose, I'm losing a little bit of foundation, but that's kind of my fault because I've been touching my nose a lot today. But besides that, I think it looks really good. And also, I did using the KKW concealer, so I'm trying that one out too, and I like the KKW concealer so far. I really like this combo. The way they both look together is pretty impressive. I'm going to be wearing this for a lot more hours, so we still got a lot of time to go. But so far, I like it. I like it a lot. Alright guys, and this is going to be my last update of the day, and it is 5.51 p.m., and I've been wearing this foundation for a good eight hours now, so I kind of have an idea of how it looks. I really think it looks really, really good. There is some areas that have kind of wiped away some of the foundation. Obviously, the coverage can't be 100% at this point. It's been eight hours, but it's mostly because I've been rubbing my face a lot today, but I do that a lot, so I do think that it has held up really well, especially for the way that I know that I wear foundation. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. this. This has been a really good foundation. I'm excited. I'm very excited and yeah. Alright guys, well you guys saw it. What do you guys think? I honestly have to tell you that I'm extremely impressed with this foundation. I love the way it looks. I am obviously wearing it right now. You guys saw me apply it this morning. I think it looks so pretty. It has a beautiful finish and it lasts really Good. And now one thing that's really important to me about all drugstore foundations is a lot of them for some reason clog my pores. I don't know what it is. They just give me pimples. Like, I don't know. Like it's usually with drugstore foundations. I have tried a bunch of different ones. And one of the ones that I love the way it looks is the Milani two-in-one conceal. But I honestly can wear that for one day and get a pimple. It is the weirdest thing ever. So far I've been wearing this foundation for three days and I have not gotten not one breakout, which to me is a big deal because with drugstore foundations, it only takes me one wear to already get a pimple. And this has been three days. Obviously I'm gonna continue wearing this a little bit longer to see if there's anything that happens with that. But I'm telling you as of right now, I am extremely impressed with this foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and read you some of the claims on the foundation. So it's a perfecting veil of buildable coverage. The Light Illusion is a breakthrough foundation that achieves the impossible, providing you with coverage you desire to smooth and perfect while imparting your skin with the most flattering, soft, illuminosity imaginable, all with a weightless, nude skin feel. The only problem with this foundation is it only comes in 12 shades. I hate that because I feel like it's like limiting so many different people to be able to try the foundation. They need to increase the shade range in this foundation because it is a great foundation for drugstore. I so it is only $13.99 guys, $13.99. I think that's a fantastic price and I think it looks so pretty. Now, if you guys know me, you know that I'm kind of a foundation snob. I love my YSL, I love my Dior, I love my Hourglass. I have very high-end foundations that I love and obviously the most high-end one that I own is the La Paris Skin Caviar, which is amazing. Um, I kind of am a foundation snob, I'm not gonna lie about it. I really like high-end foundations a lot more than drugstore ones, but this one's very good. I am very impressed. I think I might like this one more than I like the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation, which is very exciting to me because I like that one, but this one is better. It feels weightless. Like if I go like this, I still feel it a little bit sticky, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable. It feels really lightweight. I wore it the other day, the entire day. I felt like I had like such a nice foundation on it. You don't feel like you have a built up like thick layer of foundation on your face. It feels very lightweight. 
I really am enjoying this so much. The blemishes that I have get covered really good. I do think it's definitely a medium coverage and it says it's buildable. I totally agree with that. I think that you can build this. Can you get it to like full coverage, like full glam coverage? I don't think you can get it to that much coverage like that, but I do think a very full medium to maybe getting a, a tad bit of full coverage. Yes, you can get it to that. It's a beautiful everyday foundation. I think it looks just so stunning. I love the way it looks on my skin. I am very, very <laughs> impressed with this foundation, guys. I'm giving this one like five stars. Like, I love it. I think it is fabulous like that. Another thing I need to point out is look how beautiful the design of this bottle is. It looks like a high-end bottle. It has this really pretty flower beauty in this rose gold, which I, I love rose gold. I think rose gold is like the best. And this beautiful packaging. I love the packaging on this product. I think it's so pretty. It's definitely, it's a glass bottle. They didn't skip out on the glass. You've got a pump, which is fantastic because I like pumps more than I like almost any other type of method of application. So inside of it, you do get a broad spectrum of SPF 18. I did take pictures with this foundation and I don't feel like I had flashback on it even though it does have an SPF in it. I guess since the SPF is so low and it's an all day wear, I do think it looked really pretty all day. Yesterday I rubbed my nose a lot so I did have a little bit of foundation breakup around my nose. It happens with me with almost every foundation so I'm not really like a stickler on that. Unless I get something that's like cemented on my face, I'm gonna rub it off. I think that compared to my other foundations and especially my drugstore foundations, this guy did a really impressive job. This new Light Illusion Flower Beauty Foundation is very good. I have to say probably my favorite drugstore foundation that I have tried that is a big deal for me. This is a winner. If you definitely have dry skin, I think you're gonna like this. If you have oily skin, you're probably gonna like this too. It does give you a little bit of luminosity, so you probably will have to set this with a powder if you have oily skin. Me personally, I do not need to set it with a powder. I have normal skin. Sometimes it aims dry, sometimes it aims oily, so I'm very, very normal. And I have not set this one with a powder and I've been okay. You do get a little bit dewy throughout the day and if you don't like that, then definitely set it with a powder. So yeah, that is all I have for you guys in this video. If you guys are looking into this foundation, I definitely give it two thumbs up. I think it's a fantastic foundation. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, don't forget to give me your thumbs up. When my face appears somewhere around down here, if you click on my face, you will subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!